Hello, my name is uh, Extreme Gamer. Um, I'm going to show you how I create. Uh, just a few reminders: you don't need AP to create. A lot of people will say that, but you don't need it. You need what you need to do is register your username. You need to get the guest out. Um, I know a lot of people will tell you that. I know. I mean, I know you think VRP takes out your the guest out of your username. But it takes it out temporarily. You need permanently. So to register your username, you go to credits underneath VIP subscription. Somewhere in there it says register username. That's pretty cheap. So and then you go to create. Uh, you download that and uh, restart your IMV client, and it'll pop up there. So okay, let's start out. Um. First thing you want to want to do is derive a product. So you go to search catalog, you put in hair, whatever you want, and make sure you click this little box here. Show derival products only, and it'll list all the product products that you can derive from. But we'll start with this hair because it's like my favorite, <laughs> and it's pretty simple. So, all right. Uh, after you. Okay, we're gonna go. Uh, a lot of use a lot of creators will take someone's product and just resell it as it is. So a lot of the items that are really expensive, you can always look up on the web browser and click who they derived it from. So click this down here, and it'll take you to either a different look or the same exact look. That's a lot cheaper. So it's up to you. But anyways. And uh, all right, we'll derive. What you're gonna need is this code down here. So, all uh, right, let's go. Make sure you f make sure you have this box. Like I said, after you click download, create. Yeah, you just get the box. Okay, derive new product. You're gonna have to put in the ID that you just copied. Or you can use any of these. It's up to you and then go. <sighs> Just give that a minute to load. Okay, welcome to the IMVU Creator Bench. Here it is. Um, you can do a lot in here. You can put on your own clothing if you like. It'll allow you to do that. You can be inside your own scenes. It'll also allow you to do that. Um, if you're creating something that you want, like uh, a couple's pose or something, and you need another creator, um, I need another user, actor, type kind of. Um, well, I'm lagging. There we go. Uh, you go ahead and you just click debug tab. Come on, there we go. And click the tab add actor. And you can only add one actor, you can't add more than that. And you could what you're doing is you're just um, simply adding your noob self. This actor will show up to be a noob. <laughs> Okay, can't wait for it to load. There he is. Okay. And you can dress him up any any way you like. I want to use my very rare rare. Dress him up like a chick. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Anyways, you get the idea. Um. Okay, what I'm gonna do uh, is make sure you click mesh meshes mesh. See that sexy? Make sure you, I made that hair by the way. <laughs> okay. Now, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure you see how big the file is. You can make it smaller, bigger, however you want it. Um. 
What I have is a cor you, you can use just a, this is the default Coral Paint uh, paint program if you like. But what I'm use using is um, <coughs> excuse me, Coral Painter X11, and it is expensive. It really is expensive. I'm not gonna lie, but it's also very helpful, very useful. Um, you can create anything you want in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add shine to my hair. So I, I got that last time, but it didn't turn out for some stupid reason. Because I think it was too bright. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. After you got all that painted out how you want it, uh, what these lines are is how it's just like, is to make my hair glitter. Because a lot of people ask that, like, how the hell do you make your hair to glitter like that? Like a rock star. Glitter look to it, you know? They always ask me that, and it's like, oh. Gotta have the kind of program I have, so I don't know how to explain it to you. Uh, if you do have my program, make sure you put it to jitter. Make sure this the opacity is 100, and make sure this is pixel size. And uh, you can, yeah, see. This the glitters. It's very beautiful. Anyways, you save as. We'll replace that. Save. Would you like to replace this? Stop lagging! Yes. And the best thing about this program is it's not going to completely replace it. It's going to give you a backup. The original file is going to be a backup. In case you do oversave it. Because sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So what you'll see is two of these. See? Blue back. This is your backup. In case you accidentally saved over the file. Which is awesome. So, pick the file <coughs> that you want, and click Apply Changes, and you have to click that. See? And you've got your hair that you want. And if you want it darker, go ahead and go back to your paint program, make it darker, work it out. Uh, the opacity map, you know, you see how this is all like that. If I were to delete this, they'd be off, be flat. This, what this does is it kind of puts in invisible. The black erases, the white keeps it as it is. So, make sure you save that, or save as. So that saving as is a lot easier because if you want to reopen your file, you can look for the name. And then you just click upload if that's exactly the hair you want. Okay, you type in the product name, however you want it to be, I usually put an XG at the end, because it's just, epic. Uh, you know, you know the AP and the GA ratings. Okay, this is how much credit you're going to get each cell. That's the only amount of credit you're going to get each cell. Um, you're going to be paying the guy that owns this this much. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. But the total right here, this is how much you're gonna sell it for in the shop. The users buy this, they're gonna actually pay eight hundred and forty six credits for this. So yeah, don't make it too expensive. Or else they won't buy it. And you put an epic here emote us uh, these are um, tags for it, and uh, like if somebody puts in sexy hair, you know, there's the, a the chance they'll run into this one, like, or like sexy hair, <laughs> and then you click submit to shop, well, adding an image, uh, you've seen my images, how they flash like that, see, uh, it's really simple, uh, the Coral Painter 11 provides that too. You make sure it's the file size, which is 100 by 80. 
and you click movie with in as many frames as you want. Don't worry, you can go to a movie up here after you get that. You can add frames, delete frames, erase frames. You can do in all kinds of shit with this. It's awesome. But once you submit to shop, it'll open up a new web browser. It'll look like this. Except right here we'll say it's big black bold letters. This product has not been published. Would you like to publish it? Click here. And you can click that to publish it. And it's got to go through peer review. And what that is, is that people has to vote whether it's acceptable to sell or not. Uh, as you can tell, one user failed it to harm to minors, which is okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, the CS override will take a look at it if it fails. And if it's okay, they'll say, alright, well, let's find it published in the shop. And if someone fails it, it could take up to two to three days before they publish it. So, and of course, you'll get messages in your inbox that lets you know if it's past peer review or not. And if it has then it's available in the shop and everybody else can see it. But um yeah that's pretty much it. Um uh, as for uh some voice boxes um let's go to here it is. See driver with triggers. Go ahead and derive that and what I did is I recorded my own voice. You gotta save it as an OGG file, uh, if you got that kind of program. And but that's how I made my voice boxes, and that'll be in actions once you have the thing like that. But anyways, um, I hope this helps out with anything you want. Uh, IMV is a lot of fun. <laughs> Chat me up sometime if you like. If you have any questions, talk to me. Um, Alright, that's about it. I hope you have a great day. I'll get in, stay in touch. I'll see you later.